Everybody, welcome to Sports on Ricardo Live. And this one tonight is in honor of Harcourt Lightbourne. He's celebrating 91 years uh, today. And our Lawanda Lippy Paros, uh, she's also celebrating her 92nd birthday. I should tell you, she old. Okay, the third annual Quinton Three Youngs Hall Junior Basketball Tournament player at the Jack Hayward Gymnasium. Let's go to Italia Hall. The Quinton Hall Primary School Basketball Finals was a smashing success on Saturday at the Jack Haywood Gym. Coach Quinton Hall says the tournament seeks to chart the course for future cadets for the junior national team and to include boys and girls. It's been getting better each year and it's been stiff. It was, it's been a great, great uh, tournament thus far and I look forward to a real good championship for the boys. Chief Counselor for the Freeport City Council, Shavita Campbell, was on hand to lend her support to the junior basketball players. It gives them an added opportunity to learn something about the sport that they desire. It gives them an opportunity to understand, you know, to go off to school. This is an avenue for them. And for them to actively participate on a Saturday, and even during when school is closed, it shows that they are committed and the sport is not falling off. Jack Haywood girls defeated Abaco Central 18-6 to for the championships. We know that the other team, they have good defense, but I tell my team that we have to come together and make it work. You no, know, we, we have to be together as a team and be cooperative so we could win the game. And after, overall, we did win. Hard work always pays off. You know, they give us great competition with us, come here and just show our best. It was like a friendly game, so. It was good, right, but it was a little hard. It was good overall. We played good and we succeeded. We win, and that's all we wanted to do. In the boys' finals, the Reach Out Ministry Saints topped the Tabernacle Falcons 32-26. to Italia Hall, ZNS Total Sports. And as we celebrate Christmas tomorrow, I ask Santa to please give the sports leaders of the Bahamas and the people who make the sports decisions some sports maturity. Uh, children have suffered for years because of men and women playing games with their lives, their future and the future of this country. I ask Santa to please, please stamp on their foreheads that the Bahamas is not New Providence, but an array of beautiful islands and beautiful people. Merry Christmas and I wish that much of this, as far as our country is concerned, that our country is such a great one. And I had to get that out on Christmas Day. Oh, Judith, thank you for the time. Let's look at sports.